Previously on Sailing Rum Punch. Whilst pulling out the rest of the electrics, we found some very dodgy shortcuts along with a loom of wet cables. Put this in the bin? I think I think it's a good there. Let's do that. And definitely affirmed our decision to start again with this system. <laughs> Originally we had intended to keep our flooring. There was options. I was just going through options. Well, it was not an option. <laughs> it is. <laughs> But knowing her 50 years of wear and tear, along with our enlarged plans for our home to be, we progressed forwards and ripped out the old floor supports ready for a whole new set. Fiberglass should not come off that easily. That is not very well as really? glass, yeah. What are you building there? Floor supports. We have one! One floor. Is this port or starboard side? Choose a side! Today is floor support day. Whoop, whoop. Yesterday, Ben cut the new floor supports, so today we're putting them in. We need to, oh, well, I'm going to be sanding all day, yay. Well, hopefully not all day. All day, we'll be sanding all day. I'll find something for you to sand, don't worry. <laughs> Great. The epoxy has cured from last night. How's the epoxy looking? Let's have a look. Yeah, that is cured, lovely that is. Great. These bits are a bit rough, but that's fine. I can sand those down if you really want to. We're painting it at the top, aren't we? We're so it, yeah. It looks really nice, actually. It's solid. It's, it's good. Yeah, I think I did a good Smooth. job. That's it, really. <laughs> I'll be sanding. You'll be putting in the floor supports. How many times are we going to say floor supports? Floor supports. Yeah, support, so floor, floor supports are here. We're going to offer those up now. I'm going to put them in, screw them in position. And then I'm going to scribe the bottom so we can contour the shape of the bottom of the boat and then put them back into place, screw them back in. We've got the measurements for how high they need to be, so we'll mark the tops and then I'll cut a nice straight line across the top and then that'll give us our first floor support. We'll do that on both sides and then we should hopefully have a nice flat surface to put a floor in. We've uh, brought the workshop to us today, so what are they called? Horses. Yeah, work, work bench horses. horses. Horse. They are, well yeah, we bought basically that. We're going to use the old floor as a kind of workbench so that we can do it all here. But you're going to smash it? Because you mess it up. I'll be held today. But first, the reality of making content. Do you do? Do I do like a jump or something? I, yeah. Supports he made last night. Smashing stuff. It's actually a really nice grate. <laughs> you could stain that. So I'm gonna start sanding these little ones, little pieces here, and then this piece over here, and then I think Ben's gonna start this side. So once I've done that, I can crack on with this lovely piece and try and get it as smooth as possible that we can paint later. I'm gonna move on to this bad boy. So, step one is complete, and that is I've put the board in place of where it needs to go. This is the exact line it needs to be. What I do now is scribe a line on here to get these gaps so I can close these gaps up a little bit. We're not going to go directly against the hole, but I just want to drop it down a little bit so it's a little bit closer so that when we glass, we'll have better um, adhesion to the hole, I guess. That's what I'm looking for. 
So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to attempt to do that now. I've never scribed anything before. We had a play on the cardboard yesterday, but it didn't really go very well. So I'm just going to go straight in with the expensive stuff and see what happens. <laughs> Pencil, you see. Yeah, have a little double check. Okay, so I've got my line here that I've scribed. As you can see, that should that's a rough shape of the hull. It doesn't have to be perfect because we are glassing over it, but we just need a rough shape just so I can get this a little bit closer to the hull. Now I just need some PPE. I have been spending the whole day grinding out the fiberglass that we couldn't get to under the old floor supports as we cut them out yesterday. I've now done that, which is wonderful. So it's all looking a little bit smoother now, obviously. Maybe not to you guys, <laughs> but uh, let me just come across this blister here. So I just need to figure out what to do about that. Ben is outside in the wonderful sun, lucky him, um, cutting the floor supports and getting them ready to be put into the boat. You having fun in the sun? Yeah, it's too hot. Oh. Inside standing, if I'm honest. Do you? Yeah, I yeah I'm, I'm sure you do. <laughs> I am extremely nervous. This is part of a hundred pound piece of wood that I'm about to cut into, so I only really get one chance at this. All getting there very slowly. It's like we're starting to see so much of progress now, um, which is really exciting. Again. Give us some like, arms in the air or something. Give us a good pose. Well, am I still crushed? <laughs> oh, you're so. So. You happy with that? That's amazing. That's so good. Oops. Oh no! Can't do that. Oh. I'm amazed at how. Epoxied the first um, floor support, the starboard floor support. I'm not overly happy with it. For starters, it, I ended up using a lot more epoxy than I thought I would. I think I underestimated the gap between the bottom of the floor support and the hull. So every time I put it in, it just kind of got sucked under and I had to use loads more. I ended up using about 20 pumps, which is quite a lot. But it is done now and it is it, it does look quite good. Something else I could have done better is when I wetted out the area, I don't think I left long enough for the resin to tack up a bit. So when I put the thickened epoxy on, it did slip down, which has caused me quite a bit of grief. I've had to keep going in and like pushing it back up. But now it does seem to have set a lot better and it is holding. When it comes to this side, the gaps underneath this side are so much bigger because I couldn't take this bit of trim out. We couldn't measure it extremely accurately on this side and it doesn't matter that there's a gap underneath but it's just a bit i can fit my fingers under there which means it's going to take an awful lot more epoxy than it would on that side i just don't think we can use that amount so we're going to have to come up with a different solution for this side but i'll do some research and see what we can come up with <laughs> i 
gone away and had a little think about the issue with the port side floor support. So I went home and I had a little read and I found that you can actually use some polyurethane foam to put underneath it and use it to fill. Luckily my brother had some lying around so I have a block of that that I'm going to play with. I'm going to cut the foam into wedges, put them in place with thickened epoxy and see how they look. Thanks Ellie, you can do something with that. Fix it in post girl. Moving on to the battens now, they measure down an inch from the top of the supports so that I can batten out to the top of the centre one and the same on the port side. I'm going to do three battens down, that should give us a nice even support all the way down the flooring. I need to tidy this absolute pit up if possible to find anything. I'm not asking for much, just a little hammer. No, I know, I'll just put the tools as far away from me as possible. Stand on that. The beauty. Fired. Stop kneeling in the wet epoxy. Stay there. I need a second opinion. I like falling over. If you're wondering why it looks like someone going crazy, this, this is what it looks like. So I've made a mistake, I'm a little bit annoyed with myself, and it's a very simple mistake to make, but I should have been more aware. The battens I've been using are two by one, but because for some reason two by one isn't always two by one, sometimes instead of it being 25 millimeters, it's 22 millimeters, I've accounted for it being one inch and not 22 mil. So this beam sits across like this. It looks absolutely fine, it looks perfectly straight. However, when I put a straight line from the top of this support to that support and here, and I put the support where this is going to be, there's a six millimeter gap, which is highly frustrating. So my options are to replace all this wood with actual one inch so that this adds up or clad this out with six mil, which might make it look a bit nicer and kind of just call it a day there. The only issue is that is if I do need to take these off, it does mean I have to take something extra off. At the moment, I don't think our water tanks will fit in between these two. They didn't before, so I'll probably have to take these off to get the water tanks in if we're using our water tanks. So that's something to think about as well. Um, it's a very annoying mistake to make. I'm a bit annoyed myself. However, it is what it is. Um, these things do happen and I just need to pick it up and carry on. I think there always has been a little dip in the floor, so we can actually alleviate that if I do bolster it up just a little bit. I just need to double check my measurements over and over again. So to take you right back to where we started at the top of this episode, it's especially exciting for us because not only have we managed to grind away a huge chunk of the 50 year old grime on this boat, but we have actually begun building and adding to the boat rather than just removing. Moving forwards instead of backwards for a change is the morale boost we needed. High five! Okay. Just... 10 out of 10! 10 out of 10! You're proud of yourself. Uh, well, we'll see. Other than some adjusting to the middle section so the floor will sit flat, we have supports. And all we need now is an actual floor. The next challenge for both of us is fiberglassing. We're both first timers on that one, so get ready for some inevitable lessons that we learned the hard way but we have all the kits and we are very excited to tab those supports to the hull. We'll see you in two weeks for some fiberglass fun and more progress on the floor. Okay, thanks for watching this episode, which I can't tell you which number it is because I'm not fully caught up yet. So. <laughs> Could be eight, could be six, could be six. eleven, could be who knows. I think it's episode 20. We're on a roll here. What are you howling about? I could hear you squealing. Oh. Is it you? Oh, I see it.